Hi, this is BB. Um, well, let me just turn down. I'm doing some um, positive subliminals here. Let me just get this up so I can turn this down a little. Okay, so what's been happening is, um, like I said, I don't know if Kevin Christian is experiencing this, but it's like sometimes I feel like uh, what they do is they, if they're using some kind of video game, then they have certain avatars. And these avatars would show up as children. They show up as children. And it's like, it, they're not real, right? The avatars would show up as children. And you would have an adult pretending to be a child, trying to bait uh, uh, whoever they've um, unsuccessfully, well, they've successfully uh, snared into this against their will. Now, when you get angry, you start lashing out at what you think is a child or a couple of children. And they're recording this shit and playing it back to terrorize children out there. Now, uh, terrorizing children, I believe, in itself, should not do anything for these people. What do you get? Well, look at a child. Let's imagine a child. Let's say seven or eight year old child, right? And you're hurling abuses at this child. You're fat, you're ugly, your parents don't like you, you were adopted. You're sloppy, you're, you're a dunce, you don't know how to spell, you don't know how to deal. I mean, for an adult to do that to a child, it's like, it, I, I don't get a rise out of myself. I don't understand why they would do that. But remember, these people are going in your mind. Whatever this, this thing is, it's like they're, they're using, they're going in your mind. So it's got to be some kind of an energetic feedback that's going back to them that they're seeking. Something they're seeking from being abusive, aggressive, and antagonistic towards children and probably adults alike. Or people who are um, simplistic in nature, like me. I'm a very simplistic person. One would say, you know, they could say maybe I'm, ch I'm like, a, like a big child. I'm childlike, I'm not childish. I'm a very efficient woman. I've been efficient all my life. I've been on my own. I've always, over, I've always uh, worked to overcome whatever obstacles I created in my life. And apparently, if they have been at this for a, for a while, I've been working fervently to overcome whatever they threw in my path. And I've been successful so far. So I would say I'm a damn strong woman. I'm a very, very strong woman. Unbelievably strong. But my point is, what could they be telling these kids? I, I have no idea. What, what, what is it that they're, they're telling these kids? Like they show up like kids almost, but I think it's just what they call avatars. These people are obnoxious people. Now, there's something, I believe this, in a, this adrenochrome, what they're looking for. I, I have no idea. I'll do some more research on it. Because a friend of mine was taught, telling me something about adrenochrome. It's like a new drug. It's like the fountain of youth, they call it. I guess it, 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 it imagine if you will, a child, the innocence of a child, basically the child is connected to the, to, to the higher power, to the spirit world, to uh, angelic hosts. And they're trying to like get that back to them. They're trying to like crawl under the umbrella. Now what do you do with the children? The children are being uh, massacred basically. Like I woke up one night and I was, there was like some stuff was swirling around me. I don't know what it was. And I felt like there were people around me. Like literal things were swirling around me. Now this could be because it was, I was being sprayed. So I figured it's just a lot of stuff, you know, like, you know, whatever, because my head hurts. This morning I woke up, I think my foot, like around here was kind of swollen. I believe it was kind of swollen. I'm not sure. But right now I feel like uh, my tissues are feeling kind of dense right now. The tissue, the tissues of my back, my arms. I, I can, uh, I'm very close to my body. I'm very in tune with my body and how my body responds to um, thought, inner thoughts and external stimuli. And when it's at complete rest, when it's in the process of releasing any type of illness, uh, unease, dis-ease, 
and it's getting back into motion. I am familiar with the stages of how the body feels. It's almost like a burning sensation, like almost like the, the muscles are, are just coming apart, stretching by themselves. It's, it's always been this way. Um, as, a, as a child and a young adult in my 20s, before I came here, um, I was very energetic. I had a lot of energy, and I could hardly sleep at night. And it was, it was always, it always been that way. And now it's like the same thing. Now, what are they getting from this? I don't know. I don't know if someone has come into my home, too. because, like I said, a few months ago, I think it was last year, um, I was feeling this thing back here, and uh, I put my, I was in my doctor's office, and I put my finger. It was right on top. She said it looked like a mole, but I don't think it was a mole. It was a sore spot. Could have been a boil, but she said it looked like a mole. I think it was, it might be, what, what are they taking out of my head? I don't know. Are they taking out something? Are they putting something in my head? What are they doing? Now, if these people are uh, um, attacking kids, they might not even be pedophiles. They're just looking for something that they're getting from these kids. That is um, making them feel like they're connected again. Or making them feel like they're, 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 um, they're on top of the world, and it's become like the, like the new drug that they're all seeking. I have no idea. I have no idea. Because I have no idea what this is. But on top of that, be careful for those of you who are experiencing this V2K, and you can identify that if there are people or avatars sounding like... Um, Kids in the midst. Be careful of that. If you start verbally lashing out, they're recording this and they'll be sending it out to kids all over. It's kind of like they want to use people like me as a one-stop shop. They're, they're kind of like they're playing coy. They, they put their, their, their feelers out, but they only do so much. They're kind of holding back, holding back, holding back because they know what they're doing is wrong. They're, they're, it's, it's sinful. It's illegal, it's shameful in every fucking way. It's, 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 it's just a wicked thing to do to people. So they want to they wanna provoke people like you and me to say certain things and then use, I guess, our voices or our thought process to actually mess with other people out there to get whatever they try to get. It's kind of like they, they want to make full use of other people because they're cowards. They're colossal fucking cowards. And then when they can't get anything more from you, they kill you. Or they feel like uh, somebody's on to whatever they're doing and they try to kill you. These are not nice people. They're, they're horrible people, actually. But my point of making this video is if you're experiencing this and you feel like there's the, the voice of you, there's kids in there, be careful what you say. You want to cuss them out. If you do make a video and put it out here, what you said, I don't really, you know, just do it. The way you cover your ass. Because you're in your home, you can say whatever you want. But it, it's like the, the things they do to you to make you feel so restricted. So restricted within your own home. Because they're, they're like, I don't know. I mean, it's like, what, are they, what do they want? I don't know. Are they just horrible people? Have they lost their soul? Have they, uh, uh, what, what is wrong with them? I have no idea. Because at the end of the day, people are saying with V2K and the government and, and all these things... What is the government? The government is made up of people like you and me. Let's break this down into the individual. Now, what happened to these people? I don't understand. What is wrong with them? Am I missing some here? Did I miss the memo? Did we get invaded by aliens and I had no idea? What happened here? Was there a zombie outbreak and I was sleeping for all of it and now this is the aftermath? What happened? I, I don't know, understand. One of the things the sinful that they're saying is a, is, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's called, it's, this is after some kind of rapture or Armageddon. That's on them 100%. These people are just, it's like they're on a one-way ticket to hell and they want to take out as many people as they can. I, I don't understand it. I don't understand what they do here. I, I wish I could, you know, like, just ask them these questions, try to get to the heart of it, but, like, they, they just, I try to talk with the ones that are actually, uh, you know, and I think it's coming from the phone, too, because I'll be sitting there eating, and the phone is on the right of me, 
and I can hear something, and I think it's coming from the phone. Of course it would be, because the person is not there, you know, he's not here in the room with me. I don't know, it's, it's like AI on, uh, uh, or, or artificial intelligence, I mean, what the fuck was arti artificial intelligence needs an outlet, it needs something to come through. Just like how you have electrical current, you have to have something. It doesn't, it's not a ball of energy just sitting in the middle of the room that you just tap into. It has to be what is called a uh, literal outlet for you to pluck something into. So what do I have here? Is it me? I, I have no idea. What are your thoughts? Please uh, put them in the comments. Let's try to figure this out. We need to figure this out soon, please. And watch out for your kids. And again, if you hear, play this voice. If anything at all, contact your local FBI and have them call me. Please.